Understitching is the best way to make the bodice of a dress look well done. If you don't understitch, the neckline and armholes of your bodice will not lay flat and the lining tends to creep up around the seams and show around the edges of your main fabric. I'm going to show you how to understitch a bodice using a modified version of the Rosie's Dress Pattern from abitofstitch.com. Start by cutting out your pattern pieces for your bodice. Cut one front piece on the fold out of your main fabric and one front piece on the fold out of your lining fabric. For the back, you need to cut two pieces out of your main fabric. Your lining pieces for the back do not need to include space for a button placket, so fold your pattern along the line for your button placket before you cut out your lining fabric for the back. Lay out the pieces for the front and back of your bodice correctly. Place front and back pieces right sides together at the shoulders and sew. Make sure you use the seam allowance specified for your pattern. You need to add a piece of fusible lightweight interfacing where your button placket will go. Iron the shoulder seams flat. Sew the front and back pieces of the lining together the same way you did with the main fabric of the bodice. Iron the seams flat. Lay the main part of your bodice and the lining right sides together. To make the button placket fold correctly along the center back of the bodice, join the straight edges of your lining and main fabrics along the back pieces of your bodice. Sew together with a fourth of an inch seam allowance on the right side and repeat with the left side. You can see I forgot to add my interfacing for the button placket, so I'll have to go back and add it at the end. Lay out the bodice so that the lining fits perfectly on top of the main fabric. The seams you just made will become the center back of the dress, so the main fabric has to fold over onto the back about a half of an inch on both sides. To sew the neckline, match and join the shoulder seams. Start sewing at one end of the neckline all the way to the other end. Trim your seam allowance to a fourth of an inch and clip the curve. Careful not to clip too close to your seam because you will need to catch your seam allowance in your seam when you understitch. Turn your bodice right side out, but do not iron your neckline yet. To understitch your neckline, you are going to sew your seam allowance to the lining of your bodice. Starting as close as you can to your button placket, fold the seam allowance towards the lining of your bodice and sew next to the seam that connects your main fabric to the lining fabric. Your stitching should be slightly less than an eighth of inch from that seam. As you sew, make sure to keep your seam allowance pulled over underneath the lining of your fabric. It may take some wiggling to work your fabric through the machine. Now you can iron your neckline flat. Doesn't that look nice? To sew your armholes, start on one side and sew your main and lining pieces right sides together. Make sure you match your shoulder seams. Pin before you sew. You can go ahead and pin both of your armholes together at the shoulder seams and then sew them so you don't have to sew, pin, sew, and pin, but either way is fine. After you sew your armholes, make sure you trim your seam allowance to a fourth of an inch and clip your curve just like you did with the neckline. Remember not to clip too close to the stitching. After you clip your curves, turn your bodice right side out and lay it flat. To understitch along both armholes, you're going to fold your seam allowance towards your lining and sew just like you did with the neckline. You will not be able to sew all the way from one end of the armhole to the other, so you will need to start on one side and work your way up to the shoulder seam, then turn your bodice around and work from the other side and meet at your shoulder seam again. You will not be able to sew all the way to your shoulder seam, but you need to get as close as you can to it from both sides.
Repeat with the other arm hole and turn your bodice right side out. Lay flat and iron. Now isn't that pretty? Your seams lay flat and you don't have to worry about the lining poking out over your main fabric. Add the skirt to your bodice according to the pattern instructions and let your little one enjoy their new dress. Don't forget you can buy the Rosie's Dress pattern from abitofstitch.com. It's such a classic little dress. Subscribe to the Telefonte Sewing Channel to make sure you don't miss any new sewing tutorials and projects. You can also find more sewing ideas at telefonte.com and follow me on Instagram at telefonte. Thanks for watching.